That's his Pepe and Chief War Eagle with him. And here is the old toast to the coast. The ghost from the woast, gorgeous George himself. Oh, me oh my, aren't we a pretty one? This is his man Jeffrey standing here. Gorgeous George, you know, it takes an amazing amount of time to get this guy into the ring and ready to wrestle. Oh, yes, he wants the Georgie pins out first. When Gorgeous uh, wrestles, he uses uh, a pin to keep up his little tresses. And uh, <laughs> look at Mollahan here watching Jeffries take these things out of Gorgeous George's hair. There are very few and select group of men around the country who wear these bobby pins on their coat lapel, much the same as Jeffries does. George is tossing away these Georgie pins now. They're gold. And he tosses them out with an absolute, utter disdain and abandon. There you are, my dear peasant. Unlock this thing. George has got to come to the center of the ring here and be looked over by Mollahan, the referee. Uh, just a moment, please, says George. Mollahan standing there in the center of the ring calling for him to come on out and get the once over. Here's Don Eagle. Getting out of his regalia. So, Don Eagle's been looked over. Gorgeous George has been inspected, and we are now ready to wrestle. This is best two out of three falls, one hour time limit. Don Eagle has wanted this match with Gorgeous George for a long time, and they're wrestling before a packed house. There's a count of one already on George. Eagle has an extended wrist lock. Count of one. This boy Mollahan, Earl Mollahan, who is refereeing this match, is a guy who's always on the ball. One. Don Eagle has come on into an outside wrist lock. There's a head scissors on him and pried him loose. Oh, how this kid can flail and does. He ever keeps his head on, I never know. Whoop, 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 George. What's the matter, boy? Afraid he's gonna mess up your tresses, huh? Oh, I doubt that he will. Your hairdo's still in pretty good shape. Hey, there was an arm lock kipped. Well, that little old Mohawk haircut of Chief Don Eagles just leaves George in beautiful shape to mess him up. I think he has Don Eagle, but the opposite corners of his mouth, a rather painful situation, but uh, Mollahan doesn't seem to see it. George is beginning to get booed for this treatment of Don Eagle. Every kid in the house is raising cane because of it. Fred Kohler has one of the largest crowds in the wrestling season here tonight. And two, this count that Mollahan was making on George is a disqualifying count. If Mollahan had succeeded in counting up to four, George would automatically have been disqualified by virtue of the referee's decision there. And as a result, he would have lost the first fall here to Don Eagle. Starting in with an old Grecian knuckle lock here. Let's see what happens. Georgie's hair isn't too messed up yet, even. Whoa-hoo! Georgie rather got a quick one there. That was the aborigine version of the monkey rip. Don Eagle knows differently, and so do we. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, you notice how Don Eagle was trying to pull him out of there? And he didn't succeed. Well, there's a head scissors. That's as good as it. There's a head scissors short. Little Georgie is just playing patty cake, patty cake. It'll have to be broken. Mollahan's breaking it because a short head scissors can often turn into a chokehold. There was an arm lock kick, and we're back into a head scissors now. Mollahan checking it for a choke. Same deal over again. And this is what the crowd wants, all right. They want to see Don Eagle beat this guy. Burgess George, to be the attraction he is, I think has more people disliking him than any other wrestler in the business. I do believe. Trying to feel around here and work his way out of this one if he can. Mr. Mollahan, you know something? You're directly in our way. Eagle's hanging on to his head scissors. What are you doing? Coming up for breath air here, George? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, let go of the trunks. This thing is getting so rough that we... Oh, brother, did you see him pull him down by the hair? And again he does it. One, two. Uh-oh. George's George was... And our Mr. Don Eagle is a little bit red hot. process sometimes. What's the matter? Oh no, he couldn't have won. Yes, he did. Well, Don Eagle getting a big round of applause for it, nonetheless. And so, uh, you were in Mr. Eagle's corner there, gorgeous. Da, 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 da. Temper, temper. Temper, temper. Come on, go back to your own little corner. <laughs> so gun shy but at any rate first fall thusly has been won by Don Eagle here's his daddy War Eagle so at least uh, Don Eagle is closer to pinning gorgeous George than he was when this match started he's got one fall started on the other. question is can he get another one Any second, uh, that's the 10 second whistle, if you please, Don Eagle. Uh, we're ready to go back into the second fall now of this match between Gorgeous George and Don Eagle. Oh, quit begging off, Gorgeous. You know, this fellow, Gorgeous George, has actually had his name legally changed now to Gorgeous George. The Wagner end of it, he took off some months back. a quick one. Don Eagle was looking for a Grecian knuckle lock there, and George made a trip out and really took him down. Well, hang on to him, George. This kid can vibrate like a barber shop massage machine when he takes an ocean to try and get away from you. Well, here's George with a half gather. A count of one on Don Eagle. This guy, gorgeous George, he's a meanie. It's a leg lock on Don Eagle. Careful, George Ant. One, two. Uh oh. Did you see that takeaway there? Boy, Don Eagle 
took that arm lock that he picked up on Gorgeous George, flipped him over with it, and halfway across the ring. There's another arm lock kipped by the legs or nipped. Any way you want to put it, here's a full stretch on Gorgeous George. up and the flies won't pay any attention to you, boy. There have been a half a dozen different counts of one on Gorgeous George here by referee Mollahan. One, two, well, almost two then. Look at him come up out of that. Whoop, 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 whoop. The crowd wants. They want to see Gorgeous George beaten. Don Eagle has one. There's a count of two. You can see Mollahan's arm there in the edge of the picture. One. One. Two. This kid Eagle's hanging on for all he's worth. Spring at this clip. Block. Hey, fellas, come back. Hey. Well, that's a little better. You get them so fast, the cameraman can't even keep up with them tonight. Oh, Shepton here, fellas. Good night. You're all over the landscape. What does George want? A little bit of Cersei's? are short faster I think than anybody else in the business. Uh, those are what he uses to see with George. Oh I get the idea you want to give him a handicap there want him to take one huh.
bit like your television receiver when it goes out of focus, I imagine, having your eyes mashed around like this. Look out. Whoa, Berruti. Look out for Quinky. Give me a close-up, fellas. Where are you? One, two, eight. George, come back here, boy. The time is running out. And it has eight, nine, and ten. Oh, no. Boy, this thing happened so fast. Of course, it took ten seconds for it to happen. Don Eagle lost that ball by virtue of being out on the floor. These nibs swell up here like an old hot dog. What happened was that when, when George, or rather, when Don Eagle got up, to try and orient himself, he stumbled, he fell back into the crowd, back into the dark areas there where the cameramen were trying to keep up with him. I know this. And so, we have now a fall of peace between these guys. Don hurt his leg as he went out. He was a little confused. When he tried to catch Gorgeous George there, when he came off the ropes on this side of the ring, he's standing on now. He came through them on this side, went right out, cracked his head on the edge of Bill Klinke's table, and at the same time, went on down to hit the floor with his head. When he got up, he was so dazed that instead of heading for the right corner of the ring, he went right on out into the crowd and fell again. Consequently, was counted out. Well, here we go for the third and deciding fall now. It's a fall apiece for these guys. Oh, quit being so doggone timid, George. Get out there and go at it. Hey, uh, fellas, uh, you're out of focus here. Uh, look out. Uh-oh. Looks like Mr. Eagle has lost his temper here for the moment. There's a drag on George. Going at him again. He's really smacking him with these things. Looky here. Gorgeous George has got a leg lock. Watch him use these ropes. Stay with this little character. Who on earth is he? He just had to take a shortcut through there on the way home. But at any rate, Gorgeous George has won this match from Don Eagle. And that's one of the biggest upsets in the wrestling business for a long time. Because this kid Eagle had gone along for a number of bouts before finally losing this one. It's the first one in something like 135 or 40 bouts that the boy actually lost on. Gorgeous George has got on a snoot here. The fans are grabbing at him. This crowd is really on its ear. I've never seen a crowd in as ugly a mood as this gang is here tonight. It was very much a pro Don Eagle. Look at him. Stuff being thrown into the ring from all directions, from all parts of the house. Just to make it official, the ring announcer tried to announce the fact that Gorgeous George had won the match from Don Eagle, but couldn't even make himself hurt. He just gave it up as a bad job. Jeffries and George are still standing here, wondering perhaps whether or not to risk a trip out through the audience. Well, here we go. Let's see what happens. Uh oh somebody yanking at his rope. Look at him kick at him. Hey, hey, wait a minute. That's an Andy Frame guy who's trying to protect you, George. Men all around him here. Uh oh look at him take 
in on Gorgeous Jordan. I have seen an ugly crowd.